Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of the Concept Guy and in this video we will talk about the Solution Thermodynamics part 1, okay? So I know Solution Thermodynamics seems to be really confusing and there are a lot of formulas and people tend to actually confuse between the formulas or actually aren't able to get the point or the concept behind it. But trust me, these videos will really help you and I am sure you will get to know what it is really, okay? So starting off with the part 1, now earlier people had idea about ideal gas, okay? They say that ideal gas is a gas that has almost negligible molecules. So these gas molecules have negligible volume, okay? Like they are just not present, okay? Very, very negligible as compared to the whole container. And they have zero interactions between them. Like this molecule will not interact with one another. So what they do is they strike the wall, okay? And create a pressure P, okay? It was simple actually. But what happened that people then began to know that there exists a real gas too and not every gas is ideal gas. Ideal gas is very rare or it may not even exist but real gases can we take this P pressure that is that the molecules are exerting. So in that cases they said that the molecules will have some interaction and they have some volume too and they will interact okay mostly towards them if there is a force of attraction then the molecules will actually try to come towards each other too. And hence, the force exerted on the walls will actually be reduced. So, what is this effective force? Okay, what is this effective pressure? Actually, we term pressure is a good quantity to talk about. Okay, so what is the effective pressure? They asked, and the answer came that it is actually fugacity, fugacity, and that's how fugacity was born. It came into the picture that what happens if there is a real gas. There is a real gas and the molecules have some interaction then what kind of pressure they will exert that effective pressure okay is called as fugacity denoted by f now this f is less than p okay this f here this f is less than p if there is a force of attraction the molecules will move towards or try to move towards each other and hence the force exerted on the walls will be less so if f is less than p then it is attraction okay and if f is greater than p then there is a repul repulsion tendency of the molecules and if f is equal to p then it is an, an ideal gas okay so let's see how to calculate this f finding this f was okay but how to calculate this okay so for calculation so in whole solution thermodynamics you need to just remember mostly two formulas okay what are these formulas let's see first thing is that every system has some delta g okay what is this? It gives free energy, okay? Because of which the system can be classified, can be known. Okay, we can know the system because of the delta G value, how much it has the potential. This is a thermodynamic potential uh, quantity and this is a point function, okay? So it doesn't vary with the path, it varies with the point, okay? Like delta G1, so this is G1, this is G2, so delta G is G2 minus G1 doesn't depend on the path actually. Next, delta G is defined as H, okay? H if we say so let's take it as dg okay dg the differential g is dh minus t ds and so it has so if we say g is equal to h minus ts then the differential form will have dh minus t ds and minus s dt this is simple because we have just used the product rule of uh, differentiation then what we take here is we need to find this dh okay we need to find the dh so dh now h is h is u plus pv okay and dh in that case will be du plus pdv plus vdb if you see this du plus pdv what it is actually this is actually from the first law of thermodynamics this is actually heat okay and heat can be further written as heat can be further written as temperature okay it can be further written as let's see what is heat actually here okay heat and entropy if, if we say so this entropy that is ds is nothing but dq q is heat dq upon t okay entropy is defined as dq upon t so what is dq dq is tds okay dq is tds okay so let's write heat as tds so this dh is equal to tds plus vdp okay now putting this value over here we find dg is nothing but tds plus vdp minus tds so this will cancel out and we will have finally vdp minus of sdt that's the final thing that we get and this is 
see here guys this is really really important okay just see that this equation will be used various times and using this base equation we can actually get many other formulas so just remember this okay this is the most important formula for now okay let's use this let's use this okay so we got dg is sdt we got dg is sdt no vdp let's write vdp first vdp minus or plus of course minus okay minus s dt and then what we say here if the it is constant temperature if constant temperature then this dt value will tend to become zero okay because t2 minus t1 is zero then dt is vdp okay now v can be written as v can be written as what is v okay for an ideal gas for an ideal gas the volume pv is equal to nrt let's take one mole okay rt so here this v is rt by p let's write it down so dg is rt by p into dp here you see dp upon p okay if you somehow integrate this okay this is something you will find ln ln term coming so the change in ln we can also write it as the change in ln if you say you integrate this then 1 upon p integration will be ln p and because it is uh, changing from ln p to minus ln p1 so it will be d ln p okay d the change in ln p finally we get the second most important formula that is dg is rt d ln p also remember this guys because this is the second most important okay only two formulas important here till now okay very very important these two formulas are in fact used further also and this will help and it was really simple to get these formulas okay now what we will do is now people said that if for ideal gas this is p so what is f what is f f is fugacity that is effective pressure that is effective pressure so why not f can come here for real gas okay because this p is for ideal gas and for real gas we have taken it as fugacity so we can also write this equation dg is rt d ln f okay this is also most important formula for now okay these two formulas we will use various times guys very 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 important okay and now the thing is now the thing is we have this formula and we have this formula too vdp minus sdt both are very important formulas and will further help us to get the value of f how at constant temperature at constant temperature this value will become zero so we can write rt dlnf is equal to vdp okay okay at constant temperature okay then what we can find here that dlnf is equal to v by rt into dp okay so to find this value of f to find f we need need this v okay now v can be got we can get v by using two methods okay this is v of real gas okay v of real gas real why it is real because if it is real then only f is there okay and to find this we have two methods two simple methods one is residual volume residual volume that is alpha and the second is z that is compressibility factor so we'll find this v using this okay so remember this equation okay okay v by rt dp okay it's very simple that we have two equations of delta g and we got the final equation that you saw last time okay now for this v for let's say residual volume alpha residual volume means what volume is actually increased in v real in the real gas we see the in the ideal gas the volume is almost negligible of the gas molecule and the real gas has some volume okay so what volume is extra here okay that is residual volume that's nothing but v real minus v ideal and and now what is v real we don't know we want to find out what is v ideal we know that we have got it earlier that is rt by p so alpha so we need to find v real and put that in that equation so v real is alpha plus v ideal alpha plus rt by p and we had last time dln f is equal to v by rt v real by rt into dp put this v real here put this v real value here and we will get alpha by rt plus uh, rt rt cancel one upon p and dp one upon p again this term we know this is dlnp so dlnf minus dlnp this will be dlnp okay i have explained it earlier also that if you integrate it then this is actually lnp and this is changing then it is dlnp so it goes there and now we have alpha by rt dp and this is we use the log method so 
ultimately you need to just integrate it okay ultimately you need to just integrate this to get the value the final value of fugacity so it will be ln f by p the d is gone because of integration and here the integration will come alpha by rt and dp from p naught to p what is this p naught let's talk about this p naught now this p naught this p naught is nothing but so actually we whenever we see not okay in this is a general notation that whenever there is a not below some uh, quantity then it means it is at standard state standard state what is meant by standard state it is that state at which the system behaves ideally okay the system behaves ideally so let's now further do the v real from z z value that is compressibility factor so uh, what is compressibility factor see when we have a real gas the volume may increase because the gas molecules now have some volume okay so compressibility factor is how much the volume of the real gas is okay to the volume of ideal gas i mean how much this real gas is over this ideal gas okay we are comparing so v real is z into v ideal and v ideal we have found out as rt by p for one mole then v real from here will come as z r t upon p let's put that okay if we put that to v real by rt so v real by rt is z rt by p upon rt into dp rt will get cancelled and we find z by p into dp okay okay is that it is that is so we need to now integrate and find out we need to now integrate and find out this fugacity so for that it's better we get it in that terms only like the previous one so what we do is we we subtract both sides by minus d ln p to get it in the same terms so what we do is subtract both sides so this is d ln p we can write it as dp by p so ultimately it will be minus 1 minus 1 upon p because this is actually we have seen it this d ln p is nothing but dp upon p okay so here we will have one p one by p and this will be dp dp upon p is d ln p and we can finally integrate it in the same manner and get this value of f upon p from p naught to p like the same thing we did for the residual volume i hope you like this video and please like and share this video so that most of the students get their doubts clear